I, I, maybe this will be easier. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. Okay. I'm, uh, I'm on the court, uh, waiting for you to go inside. Already went in. Okay, you already went in. Okay, I'm gonna run up the stairs now. Oh, cool. Oh, hi, Dad. Uh, I'm recording. <laughs> That's okay. I don't actually know what you said anyway. Okay, did you go in and the school or you just run around the grounds? Okay, I think that might be a good place to stop and then I'll have to edit everything out. Alright, love you mama. There we go. I might get two episodes out of this. Here we are, Breastfire. Welcome to Naranpa Academy. This here's the entrance hall. You can sign up for all kinds of classes at the desk behind me. And those halls off to the sides lead to all different parts of the school. It's totally big enough to let loose and battle in here, but for some reason they found Pokemon battling in the main entrance. You're, well, you're gonna keep people from going in and out properly. Miss Breastfire, Mr. Mama. How did you find your first school commute? We had a blast! <laughs> I imagine Miss Simona's high spirits helped with that. She's a true asset to our fun academy. Not that I was expecting any less from our champion and student council president. Reliable as ever, Miss Simona. Well, I know how to look after my friends, right, Brushfire? Oh, but speaking of which, we saw some of those themed star kits in town, but director. You did? Where? It's down the stairs from the front gates. They were hassling this kid with an Eevee backpack. That is quite cool. Are they still to be found out there? Uh, actually, brush fire flex on him and ran him off. You don't say. Of course it's a fine thing to train a oh, fellow student, Miss Brushfire. But you might want to show a bit of restraint as you find your feet here at our academy. And Miss Simona, do remember that it that school staff is here to resolve any such troubles. Right, yes, sir, Director. A child with an Eevee backpack, you say. I suppose that might have been Miss Penny. I'm relieved to hear she came to, she's come to class, at least. Oh, and Miss Mona, if you'd be so good, to report to Mr. Jacques about this team's star business. As your homeroom teacher, he should be kept apprised of all such goings on. You got it, sir. Oh, but look at the time. You two had better hurry along. Classes will be starting soon. We're in class 1A, brush fire. Come on, I'll show you the way. I want to sign up for classes. I think I'd be going to homeroom this soon. Awesome. I still have dreams about high school. Uni. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Jacques. Hello, hello, everyone. We have some exciting news this morning. Who wants to hear it? Oh, me! I want to hear the news! <laughs> I suppose I should have told you sooner, but we have a new little friend joining our happy homeroom mess today. I wonder what they'll be like. Alright, you can come on in. Could I trouble you for a few words introducing yourself? Sure, I'm Brush Fire. Did you hear that? She seems super friendly and fun. Looks like everyone's eager to get to know you, Brush Fire. Alright, then who wants to be the first to ask our new friend a question? Me, me, can I ask a question? Okay, boy in the front row. What's your favorite thing about Pokemon? Well... <laughs> I like everything about Pokemon. I'm really awesome. I'm totally saying I want to play with them. I want to collect them. Battling's fun too. 
Does anyone else have a question? Hey, I have a question. You went to all the trouble of a rolling here, so spill brush fire. What do you hope to get back out of it? You must have some kind of dream, right? Um. Huh. I want both. I want a complete Pokedex. I like I like collectathons. I'm glad I got to set you up with that Pokedex app if you like collecting that much. Well, thank you for telling us a bit about yourself, Brushfire. Mr. Jacques, I teach uh, biology here at the academy and I'm also your homeroom teacher. That's your seat, second row from the front. Alright, you ragamuffins, be nice and friendly to our new classmate. We will, Mr. Jacques! It's nice to be so welcome, even if it's all fictional. Get to know the Academy campus by exploring a bit on your own. Your group has been disbanded. Yeah, I can stream it offline. Mm. Welcome to the Academy! You're a new kid. Glad to have you. Thank you. What? What? You want to talk to me? Yeah, that's how I feel about everything. When class is in session, we tend to be on our best behavior. And our best still isn't that good. Yep, that's about being what a student is. Oh yeah, I already talked to you. Thank you. About before, thanks for answering my question earlier. Looking for Nimona? She got called to the staff room just now. Anybody in this store want to talk to me? Oh, I guess. Okay. Um, okay, I want to go pick out some glasses. Oh yes, always good seconds. Nutrients! And far off regions. People like to eat rice covered in this stuff called curry. And Pokemon Sword? Yes, I did! <laughs> ah. Ah. The Compi! Mill powers! I made me battle out my grades. I'm ready for seconds. <laughs> Like, are, uh, do the copies belong to the kids, or are they just helping out with the food? Hey! Oh, hey, so we meet again. You remember me, right? I'm the lighthouse. Yeah, exactly. That's my little know-it-all buddy. Got a mind like a still trap, eh? No need to tell me your name. Brushfire, right? The whole school seems to be talking about you. The new kid who showed up with the president of the student council. I normally wouldn't even bother showing up for class, but I came on the way to school today just to talk with you. Our new celebrity! You've got to help me out so I can finally make my dream a reality. What's this dream first? <laughs> Caught your interest, have I? You want to hear all about my dream, right? Well, this might come in surprise, as a surprise, but fact is, I'm all about that picnic life. The great outdoors, the perfectly prepared sandwiches, all of it. Not that bad at cooking either, I can tell you. Right now, I'm researching new pet recipes that I hope people might feel better. Real health food, you see. I found this book the other day and had a section about these Herba Mystica things. Basically, there's some kind of special herbs that help any Pokemon as soon as it eats them. Now, there's a total of five different types of Herba Mystica, based on what I read. Just taking a little lick of them once they've been powdered will get your blood flowing. Provide nutrients, prevent aging, it'll even boost the immune system. These herbs seem like they're the real deal. Only found here in Paldea, murder to boot. But this book says they're all guarded by Titan Pokemon. I mean, it's gonna be pretty tough to try to grab even a few sprigs. Cause see, Titans are... Well, I think they've gotta be... Things like this. Monsters Area Zero. What even is? Oh, it's a Dawn fan. 
As we descended further into Area Zero, we began to catch glimpses of mysterious Pokémon. And we wondered if these huge ferocious beasts were indeed Pokémon at all, because there's also creatures that are not Pokémon at all. One of our team suffered a brutal blow from such a beast and was mortally wounded, forcing us to retreat for a time. A member of the survey team captured this photograph by chance. Notice a passing resemblance to the Pokémon known as Donphan. Yet differences such as its sheer size and the shape of its back set it apart as do its great tusks. I really want to get those herbs for myself, but I'm not very good at Pokémon battles. Don't have any friends with strong Pokémon to lend me a hand either. I'll never hear the end of it if I weren't calling to that student council girl. I hear you, what's up? You gotta help me with this. You'd be perfect. Okay, I'm interested. Just for myself. Oh, wait. I don't need an answer yet. I'll just rest through the places where it seems there might be Titans in the map after you. Have flowers on your Pokedex phone. On, on your Rotom phone. Lost Dragon Titan. Waking Earth Titan. Open Sky Titan. Lurking Skill Titan. Stormy Cliff Titan. That's a claw. Ooh, I started a... Yeah, I started a thing. Let's do a bit, and we can get more into the details later. In the meantime, take this. A little gift for listeners. Oh, started us. Thank you. Well, oh. Give the idea some serious thought, please. Uh, yeah. This is fresh fire, correct? I hacked your smartphone so I could talk to you. Hope you don't mind. Uh, what do you mean hacked? Well, as far as you're concerned, it means I'm basically in control of your phone right now. My name's Cassiopeia. Never mind that. It's you I want to talk about. Is, is my sleep? My sleeve is glitching. I can see my backpack through my arm. Okay. I hear you're a trainer with serious potential. If that description is accurate, there's something I'd like to ask of you. Tell me, Brushfire, you know about Team Star, right? Yes. Great. I appreciate you being up front here. Cassiopeia is a star. Team Star is a group of troublemakers formed by some academy students a while back. They caused headaches for the school and tried to bring other students down to their level. And I refuse to sit idly by and let them get away with it. So I've come up with a plan to bring down Team Star and force them to disband for good. I call it Operation Starfall. But I'll need allies to carry out this operation, and I'd like you to be one of them. Okay, yeah. No need to reply right this second. We can discuss the details some other time. Until then, I'll leave you to it. Bye. Why is my arm glitching? Uh, hi, uh, Headmaster. I'm Miss Brushfire. Please do try to keep your voice down if you're making calls within the school, won't you? Of course, sir. You don't want everyone else overhearing any personal information, after all. Honestly, there are so many things we need to be careful about in this day and age. On you go, young lady. Team Star, you say? Yes! Oh! Oh! Well, not anything right now. Not well, okay. But I need to find... Nimona. More books than I can read in last time. Oh yes, I love to read. I'm tired. Oh. <gasps> Iglebuff. A culture. Oh. 
That does make sense. Yeah, it helps you remember better when you do stuff like that and like write it down. Oh. Oh. Roger Climbing School Song. Yeah, let's read this. Overgrand Mezagosa stems our dear Naranja. When we enter our seeds and leave in fruition, our minds white as the creator, the wise educators, the fill with strength, greatness, and tradition. Teach us well, O oranges of Paldea. <laughs> Where's that go? Oh, yeah, I need to go to Stab Room. That is so much hair. I mean, I just got my hair cut because I can't stand it, and it's like, how, how do you handle having that much hair, lady? Very well, Captain Nimona. I trust you to handle this in my stead. Sure thing. You can count on me. In fact, I bet this is going to be fun. I'm glad to hear it. Good day, then. Oh, pardon me. Oh, brush fire! Hey! She looked awesome! Good eyes, she sure is. That lady is, well, they call her La Primera. Primera? The Spring. She's strong, so she can do pretty much everything. Anything. She's got cool practically coming out her ears. She's basically everything I want to be, or that any Pokemon trainer would want to be, really. I think Mom was saying goodnight. Oh, well, it sure reminds me. Remember in homeroom when I asked what your dream is? Now, I know you said you're all about completing the Pokédex, but hear me out. You should try to reach champion rank like me. Yeah, I will. Oh, wow. Hang on, though. I got a whole spill I want to give you. Here goes. The trainers who reach champion rank are the ones who raise their Pokémon really strong. They're pro-tier battlers. Their moves keep crowds absolutely on the edge of their seats. You have to prove yourself to the Pokemon League to officially get the title of champion. And to do that, you have to do more than just take classes here. You've got to take on eight Pokemon gems and win so you can collect their gem badges. Once you've done all that, all that's left is a special test, the champion assessment. And once you pass that, then at long last, you'll be a champion. It's every Pokemon trainer's dream, the coolest title anyone could ever hope to get. Not to brag or anything. I reached champion rank during our last treasure hunt, you know. Oh, the treasure hunt is a special independent study thing we've got here. Should happen soon. Our last one started not long after the beginning of the school year. It's great, you get to leave school to go have an adventure and learn how if you want. I guess you could say my journey to becoming a, a champion was the treasure I found. Maybe? I don't know yet if that's the answer I'm looking for. Anyway, I got a feeling I'll be able to get even stronger if you and I were both working on it. I love your shoes. Let me go ahead and save the gym's locations in your map app in case you, get a, you decide to go for it. Awesome. A dolly? Cascarafa? Cortando? Alfernada, uh, Monte Navarra, Glaciado, La Vencia, Artisan. Give it some thought. Oh, there's a in here. Somebody call me? 
Calling Miss Brishfire to the director's office, please. Oh. That's again. Miss Brishfire to the director's office, please. Miss Brushfire. Have you been enjoying your time here at Naranja Academy? Yeah. That is most wonderful to hear. Now, you may be wondering why we could not have simply conversed earlier in the cafeteria. But let me assure you, there is a reason why I asked you to meet me here in my office. It seems that a friend of mine has a rather serious matter they would like to discuss with you. Oh, uh, am I? Am, I'm not in trouble, am I? No, I'm afraid they aren't actually here in this room with us. One moment, please. Just allow me to connect us. Oh! We're gonna FaceTime them. It's the professor! Huh? Hello, Brushfire. It's nice to meet you. My name is Professor Sada. I carry out Pokemon research within the great creator of Paldea as a site known as Area Zero. Oh, that is definitely a crater. The professor, in fact, is a graduate of Refine Academy, as well as a splendid researcher. Well, allow me to get straight to the point. Bushfire, student ID number 805C393. Where the student who travels with the unusual Pokemon Kuraiden, is that correct? Yeah! Thank you, I appreciate that you were honest in confirming the facts. I'm just kind of surprised that you know, but then again, that kid's your son. Uh, not that I, I do not mean to offend you. In fact, I wish to ask for your assistance. Oh, assistance? How can I help? Huh? Oh, how good to see that you are well. It has been quite a while since we last met. Yeah. Bryden was once in my hair, you see. Oh, <laughs> it's the professor, not the headmaster. This Pokeball was also originally mine. I assume you received it from a young man named Arvin. I am no matter no longer in any position to be able to manage that Pokemon myself. This is what I would ask of you. Will you continue looking after Coriden on my behalf? Of course. I do appreciate your agreement. You got fangs. That's cute. Grin has been greatly weakened and is currently incapable of battle. It can, however, take on a form specialized for mobility. In all likelihood, it will require some time to fully regain the capabilities it once had. Sometimes my mouth doesn't want to work. I will provide you with my contact information if you will please get out your phone. I will be in regular contact going forward to keep tabs on your status. Until then. Ciao! Oh, Coraiden misses her. Could this Pokemon have its origins with an Area Zero? Sada, don't tell me you actually did it. Uh-oh. That doesn't seem good. Well, it seems that the professor is asking quite the favor of you. But of course, the Ad Academy is always here to support you in any way that we are able. I do hope you'll enjoy your school life, together with that Coridon. Okay, I guess we're all done here, sir. Uh, bye. Oh. Hello, excuse me. 
Oh, you're still here, Bushfire. Oof, getting called into the director's office? How'd you land in that much trouble already? Ah, oh, kidding. I know it wasn't like that. Mr. Jacques wanted me to show you the way to your room in the school dorms. Your very own private room, Bushfire. Let's go check it out. Oh, yes. That's a great way to end this episode. Ta ta chan! Oh, I. Ta 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 ta! But in Spanish, so I don't know. <laughs> From today on, this is your room, Brush Fire. Actually, it's as new to me as it is to you. Never been in here before. Maybe check out your new bed. It looks comfy, and you must be pretty worn out from all this stuff happening on your very first day, huh? A quick rest on a bed is all you need to get yourself and your Pokemon healthy again. I'll see you tomorrow when you've rested up. Then we can battle even more. Take care! Let's see how much I can explore. My own personal kitchen, and I can't actually cook in here. Okay, yeah, that's that's important. My desk. <sighs> yeah. The days quickly fly by after you start your new life at Naranja Academy. And then at last the day arrives for your true adventure to begin. Ooh. Oh, it's the PA system. Attention all students, today marks the beginning of an important new assignment. Please assemble in the schoolyard, where I will explain in more detail. Kimona! It's time! I've been waiting forever for this, Come on, Let's go out to the schoolyard. Okay. It's a good place to stop and save. Thank you all for watching, and this is Brushfire Wind Dragon signing off.